New York City is a fashion mecca for designers, but now not just for humans, it's gone to the dogs. It's a catwalk of a different sort for these fashionista dogs. It's Pet Fashion Week in New York City, and this is one sure way to be the cat's meow without being feline. The ultimate in canine couture, and we do everything from the Park Avenue pooch to the junkyard dog. Everybody should have bling. And bling they have. Many top designers took part. And why shouldn't they, as the dog business is barking up the right tree, as a $36 billion industry, making it top dog over the toy and candy business. That we're committed to um, having our dogs look as good as we want to look, and we don't care what, we, what it costs. He came up to me one day and says, why don't we start a dog clothing business? And I said, dog clothing business? Tell me about this hemp line. Are you a throwback from the 60s? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just a natural man-made material. It's, it's hemp and leather combination. Do they feel a little more mellow after wearing a hemp collar? Now the mommy and me attire has taken on a new meaning. We're dressing, you know, exactly. with our dogs. I know. Before you know it, we're going to be going to the beach with the same swimsuit on, right? We call it the Isabella. How much would a dress like this set me back? I would say about $3,500. And it almost looks like it could be a little see-through okay. there in the front where it's definitely showing some cleavage. Yes, it is. <laughs> would you dress up in the same outfit as your dog? Yeah, absolutely. Would you ever dress up in the same outfit as your dog? Um, I don't think I would. All this modeling has those of a different sort in the beauty chair. Do you ever have couples come in and they bring the dog in and they sort of fight in front of you about what the dog should look like, what kind of style to do with the dog? They always fight in front of me. <laughs> they never agree on what kind of haircut they want. Do you do human hair too? No, I don't. And I'm very bad. If you want to look like a hot shih tzu. Ooh. <laughs> I kind of like that. A hot shih tzu. I think I need to. And dogs are not only looking good, they're spicy. Sexy Beast offers doggy perfume reminiscent of vanilla, which is to have a calming effect on dogs. It was inspired by fragrances like Terry Mugler Angel and Victor and Rolf. Dogs are sexy. Why shouldn't they have a product that is exclusively for them? And now is it strictly for dogs or can humans wear it too? I actually wear it all the time. I think I smell it. You sexy beast. <laughs> Thank you. And when you wear it, do you have dogs coming after you or men? <laughs> I'm the dog's expert. Yeah. Tell me how do your dogs affect your relationships with other people? Oh, if you can't get along with my dogs, then I'm not going to feed you. <laughs> it's hard to find a good stud in New York, so sometimes you just have to look at the foot of your bed. I prefer my man at the foot of the bed and my dog at the, you know, lying at the next head to the bed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> on the pillow. <laughs> Who really sleeps on the pillow right next to your head, though? Your man or your pooch? My pooch. <laughs> how did you know that? How did I know? This is the way canine couture is going. I want to come back as somebody's sexy beast in my next life. I'm Cheryl, your dog sexpert, coming to you from the Pet Fashion Week in New York City.